dolls, bridles, buckles, stuff like that. And over here on our long wall of this tack room, we do have your two uh, blanket bars up high, your two saddle racks down low, and these are fully adjustable. You loosen two little nuts on each one of them, and they'll slide down or up to whatever position you see fit, or you can easily take them all the way out if you want, or add more. So you can add more blanket bars, add more saddle racks, take them out, organize them however you guys see fit right here on this wall. Up here, we do have your clothes rod up high mounted on the framing of this trailer. Again, if you want to hang some shirts, stuff like that, you can keep them up and out of the way of your tack right here. And then again, you'll have two sliding type bus windows on each side of your gooseneck to again, manipulate airflow. You can maybe spend the night in here at seven, seven tall. So you can see it's gonna have plenty of headroom if you did want to throw a mattress and sleep up in there. And it is fully carpeted to make it a little more comfortable for you guys. Moving over to the kind of the bread and butter of this trailer, it, we did extend it just a little bit. So I'm sure you guys have seen standard two horse straight loads that you have to walk your horse on and you have to usually come through an escape door, untie them, then go to the back and open your door, open your thing, walk back around to the front, grab your lead rope and back them out. With this side load, we like doing it on the straight load because it makes it so easy to load your horses from the rear tie them off, walk out the front yourself, close the trailer up, and then again, when you go to offload the trailer, you, can, you don't even have to worry about your rear ramp. You can walk in through this ramp, untie them, move your head grill, and walk them straight out. That way you're never having to worry about your horse being untied in there while you're trying to drop doors and stuff for them to walk out. So it's a really cool concept we do on this two horse straight load. So again, you guys saw me run your large butt bar here that'll go across that so if you do ever load a horse kind of in this plus one area it's not a true plus one but you could load a horse here if you wanted they're not leaning on that uh, ramp this bar will protect them from that so as you can see two horse straight load you got your big center divider with your lower stud partition on it you will have your air float uh, head grill right here the cool thing i like about this head grill is to make it work with the offload position of this two plus one if you have two horses loaded, usually you'll take your first horse, untie them, walk them straight out. Then for your second horse, since that's kind of a tight angle for them to clear, this head grill will move out of the way after you have your first horse unloaded. And then you can easily walk your second horse out this stall and out that gate. Everything operates really smoothly and it makes a really easy transition for your horses to offload of this trailer. You're not having to worry about dropping that rear ramp and having them try to back out while you're trying to get them untied. It's a really, really smooth process. You do have your padded chest bolster pads. It's a cool little thing Cimarron does. Once you get them in there, they can't unlatch if they get lifted up on, chewed on, anything like that. It is a plastic latch, so again, it's gonna be a super quiet ride for your horses. Cimarron does it. Um, a lot of companies will call it quiet ride. Cimarron doesn't really have a name for it because they do it on all their trailers anyway. It's not necessarily an add-on option. So anywhere metal can be met with plastic, you'll have plastic latches with metal. That way, you're not making enough noise. You're not having to worry about that metal on metal grinding and wearing out. And it'll just be a really smooth, quiet ride for your horses. You don't have to worry about stuff rattling around. And again, same thing. If you wanted to have a little more room, kind of where we're standing, you could technically use this as a plus one stall. Tie your horses off to the front. Give them a little bit more room hauling right here. The thing I like about doing this setup is it gives you so many options. As far as two horse straight load, you can offload the front, you have your box stall at the front, but then again, these dividers are fully removable as well. So if you wanted to, you could take this whole center divider out, all your chest bars and butt bars, and just have a wide open trailer as well. So you kind of run it as a little bit of a stock combo as well. So it gives you guys plenty of options as far as how you want to stall and transport your horses. If you have horses that like to load and offload or haul a certain way, this can help you with that as well. You'll have kick mat four foot up your walls, running a whole length of this trailer. So again, if you have a horse that likes to paw, kick, chew on stuff, they're not gonna go right to the metal of this trailer. They're gonna hit this kick mat, which is a lot easier to repair and holds up a lot better than it does a horse kicking straight metal. For each one of your stalls in this two horse, you will have a two way roof vent. So again, pulling fresh air in right over the tops of your horses or pulling that air out to kind of keep that air moving and keeping it nice and cool and fresh in here for your horses. You will have an escape door on the off side of this ramp. Again, chest bar there. If you do have a horse loaded, they're not leaning on the door, they're leaning on that chest bar. But again, it makes it super easy to have your horses in here, come through an escape door, untie them right out the gate. It's, you could use this to store hay in here, 
It's a really versatile little space we do, and that's why we've extended it just a little bit to make this ramp fit, because we feel it's such an easy option to do on a two horse, and it's been working really well for us. We can order this setup in a bumper pull as well if you're interested. We actually have one here if you guys want to come look at it. It is sold. You can more than welcome to come check out that bumper pull. It's the exact same setup with just a bumper pull front tack. So it's a really cool concept we started doing and it's been working really well. So we'll kind of move through out the back of this trailer. Again, you're gonna have your rear ramp with your double dutch doors back here. Cool thing I like about doing a rear ramp double dutch door setup is with this ramp up, I'm not going to latch both of them just for the video, but you can travel down the road with it like this. So again, you can see just how much open space that gives your horses. That is going to allow that airflow to just maximize in there and it's going to keep your horses really cool, really dry. It's going to keep them from getting lathered up while you travel. So again, you can travel with it like that. The Dutch doors on this setup will have a sliding type in them too. So if maybe if it's a little colder out and you want to close them up, but still get a little airflow. You can open up those Dutch doors, or the sliding types in those Dutch doors, open up your roof vents and still keep that air flowing from front to back in this trailer. We all have LED lighting all the way around this trailer as well as inside, both inside the stall area and that tack room. So again, we kind of set these trailers up when we order them. This again, this is a used unit, so we didn't order this one fresh, but we ordered it a while back. Um, we try to set them up as well as we think they'll work for you guys. Down low, you do get your full aluminum wheels. Your spare on this trailer will match those aluminum wheels. Um, but again, these are nitrogen-filled tires as well. You can tell they're nitrogen-filled because usually there'll be a green cap on those tires. So what that means is we fill them with nitrogen and it eliminates about 99% of the oxygen in those tires, which nitrogen doesn't contract and expand like oxygen does due to temperature changes. So you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, cool mornings to hot afternoons having to run out and make sure your tire pressure is still the same because it should be within about one PSI of where they always will be. So it's a really cool thing we do. The other cool thing about it is if you do get a flat or a blowout, you can easily just put normal air in there. You will have, kind of working our way down the side, you'll have two tie rings, it is a two horse. You'll have two tie rings on each side, both this side and that off side that we kind of skipped over as we walked through. That other side will be pretty much a mirror image of this driver's side, just no escape door because you do have that ramp on the other side. But the cool thing I like about Cimarron escape doors is on both sides, well, this side you'll get a drop down, on that other side you'll get another Dutch door swing out over that ramp. But I like that we do get a drop down feed window just because it's a big square framed window, it's sturdy, it's jail barred, and it allows you to be able to get that airflow going, but also allows you to be able to check on your horses if you didn't want to drop a window. It's super easy to drop these jail bars, climb up on your running board, you can check on your horses, make sure they're riding okay. Close this back up, either all the way, or you can travel with it down like that as well. And then again, if it is a cooler morning and you're not wanting to drop windows to really get a whole bunch of cold air moving through, but you just want to circulate it a little bit, you will get a sliding type in that drop down as well. So again, giving you guys plenty of options on how to control that temperature for your horses is kind of what we go for when we set these up. There's only about two manufacturers out there um, that will send their trailers, no matter what trailer you order, with a fully insulated roof, and Cimarron is one of them. So no matter what trailer you pick up, if it's a Cimarron, or if you order one, it is going to come fully insulated with a roof, front to back, including your tack room. So it's going to be a lot cooler for your horses. It's going to be a lot cooler for you if you're staying in there as well. Let's move up to the front of this trailer. Again, it's a standard hand crank trailer. We can not upgrade that to an electric over hydraulic jack if that's something you guys wanted to do. And then again, there's a good look at that matching spare rim to the rest of the trailer. That way if you guys have a blowout, have a flat tire or something like that and you have to swap tires, your trailer's still gonna be looking good. You'll have a matching wheel, a matching tire, and you won't have to worry about showing up to a show on a donut, an off-size wheel or tire. Everything will match and look clean on this trailer. To finish it off up here, your coupler, it is a 2 and 5 16 coupler. It is a B&W 25K. The cool thing about this coupler is Cimarron and B&W got together and this is a deal they worked on to build just for Cimarron. So you shouldn't see this coupler on any other trailer unless someone's pulled it off of a Cimarron and put it on a different trailer. The reason I like this coupler they worked on is because most couplers it's really hard to find a way to safety pin your coupler closed so no one can steal your trailer. But with this setup, you can easily run a padlock through there lock this up so no one can steal your trailer. The other thing I like about it is it latches forward. 
Most couplers, they're gonna latch back like so. So when you're stopping, it's putting a lot of weight on your trailer hinge up front. So by it locking in that front position, when you stop, there's no movement for it. So it eliminates a lot of bad things that can happen. I mean, trailers are pretty safe as it is. But by doing this coupler, I think they've kind of upped the ante a little bit and made it as safe as possible. And of course, you do have your safety chains and your breakaway cable. Again, this is a used trailer, but it has been fully serviced through the shops. Brakes have been checked, bearings have been packed, it's got an alignment. All the wiring's been went through, the breakaway brakes have been checked. Again, they run these through a full service department. If they find anything out of sorts, they will fix it, replace it, repair it. We try to fix these up to make them as new as possible for you guys. If you're interested in this trailer, the stock number for this trailer is 5U. 220970. Again, it's a 2021 Cimarron North Star, a warm blood size trailer. So you're seven seven tall. It's got that nice side ramp offload. We can do these trailers in bumper pulls. We have one here. So if you're interested in this one, give us a call. But if you're interested in checking out some trailers that maybe have that side load off ramp, maybe a two plus one, something of that sort, feel free to give us a call. Again, my name is Tanner here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.